from clbcraftcreations.blogspot.com with day six in the holiday card series. Um, today's card is the last card in this week's series featuring the Bright and Beautiful stamp set um, and coordinating framelits. We're going to be using that to cut out the window. And for sentiment, um, I'm actually going to use the Endless Wishes stamp set that came out in last year's catalog, holiday catalog and I carried it over to this year so we'll be using that as well. Um, so we're going to be doing some die cutting I'm going to go ahead and bring in the um, in the Big Shot. So the star image but so we know where to die cut. We are going to use Lost Lagoon ink that up and I'm going to stamp off so let me get a piece of make sure you get that nice and inked up stamp off and then try and get that okay perfect and then we're going to take might as well do the stamping first then we're going to take our uh, inside greeting, which is from the Endless Wishes stamp set, and we're going to use our Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And we're going to stamp Season first. Get that centered in the middle the best you can. Hopefully you don't have a camera that's preventing you from getting that perfect. Looks good. And then we're taking the Celebrate The from that same stamp set, and we're going to stamp that right above there. Make sure it's hit well. Not too bad. Okay, so you're done with the stamping. And now we are going to start our, dark, dark, our die cutting. So let's get the big shot out. We're going to, using our coordinating framelit, I'm using the magnetic platform. And then we'll take our top plate, put that down. And you know what? For some reason, my plate is not holding very tight. I could certainly use some washi tape, but you can see that I've got washi tape still attached to my stars. And then we'll run that through. Our layering piece underneath of our designer series paper. So our Whisper White piece was cut at um, 5 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 and our designer series paper is cut at uh, standard matting, which is four, four and a quarter by five. Um, so because that is um, our layering piece, we're going to have to flip this over so that we know where we need to where we need to lay this piece in. And we'll go ahead and just put that back on our plate. And you actually probably it's wise to just add a little bit of a temporary adhesive just so that it holds. I'm just going to put a little bit there. Kind of, okay. Since I'm going to be running both of these through now. It's going to get a little tight doing that. But it'll, it'll work. It'll be okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to line that up. And because you're doing the opposite side, the framelits will actually, you can feel it goes right into the little ridge right in there and it holds tight. So we'll run that piece through now. Okay, and we'll pop this out, save that for another project. So now we have those two pieces. You can pull this away. I would recommend using the designer series paper. It's a little bit thinner. Um, but you're going to need to now die cut a window into, 
into your uh, you need to die cut a window into your card base now. So you'll want to line that up as best you can. And again, if you if you want to use the white piece, the whisper white piece, you certainly can. I'm going to use my designer series paper just because it's thinner and I think it's going to go through just a little bit easier. So again, you feel that ridge. The magnetic plate really helps out in this situation because it holds everything together. Um, and so then you can run it through without any issues. Just run that through and have our window. Again, save this piece for another project. And if all worked out well, this should all line up properly to create our window. And it should layer nicely. And it does. Assembly and you can you'll see it better all the way through. Okay, let's get the uh, big shot put away and I'll be right back. Assembly. And so we've got our card base, which is a portrait style card cut at 11 by four and a quarter, scored at four and a half. I've gone ahead and um, attached my designer series paper to my Whisper White cardstock. We've got a piece of three and a quarter, three and three quarter by three and three quarter window sheet. And we're going to attach that um, before we attach the Whisper White piece. And we will go ahead and add our adhesive. Liquid glue is probably a good choice for this piece just because it gives you a little bit more wiggle room. Um, so you add your window sheet down and then you're going to want to go ahead and add a little bit more adhesive over that window sheet so that you can attach it to your card base, match up your, oops, actually, let's go back. I've got a piece of um, four by five and a, and a quarter for the inside because we need to put our sentiment piece down. And you could, if you wanted to, just put the die cut piece that we stamped in the center. But I like to give um, personal messages as well in my cards, so not everybody has a pen that can write on the inside of darker cardstock. So that way, if you um, if you give them a piece of white, then they can then they can actually write. So we're going to use some dimensionals. Actually, I'm just going to use one dimensional. Stick it right in the middle. Take that off and then let's line that up with the opening. And then, of course, that's not very centered, but you get the idea. Okay, and then now we'll take our, our windowed piece, line that up with our opening. And our card is complete. So we have now a windowed card. It was just on white paper, so we changed it a little bit and added it to the Lost Lagoon cardstock. So I hope that you enjoyed today's card project. You will hit the like button, subscribe, and offer any comments that you might like. Head on over to my blog at CLB craftcreations.blogspot.com for all the dimensions and links to order the supplies used in today's card. And I hope that you'll join me next week as we continue our holiday card series with three new projects featuring a new stamp set. Until then, have, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.